Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy Curtains Up.
don't deserve this. After all I do for her? I need to go soon. My ride's gonna be here any minute. I'm gonna call my sister. I'm gonna figure this out. Did you take my lip gloss? Ah, come on.
Oh, guys. A lot of people said, and I was too small to play dodgeball on the way, but then one day when we were in gym, the teacher said that we were going to play dodgeball. I thought that I was going to get out very early and lose the game. But then I saw something, that whenever somebody threw the ball at me, it would always miss because I was so small. <laughs> Come on. Come on. And then I saw that I was the last person in the game. I won. Nah.
Come on.
Oh, come on. Come on.
People said I couldn't do gymnastics. They said I couldn't do backbends, cartwheels, throw walkovers, etc. But I didn't get their words get to me. I didn't give up. I kept trying and trying until I could do it. Yes, and the funniest part was they couldn't even do a cartwheel. I proved them wrong. Come on, baby. Right. It was Christmas morning. I was seven years old and I woke my, me and my parents up at 6.30 in the morning. All I wanted was a dog. This might seem common, but stay with me. But with every gift that I opened up, none of them contained the brand of candy that I wanted. But we needed it. And I was devastated. But when I lost hope, that's what I thought, I saw a little folder that caught my eye. I couldn't believe what was inside. An adoption certificate and a picture of a cute little dash of puppy with a Santa hat. I was so happy. Let's get to about four days later when a worker from the adoption center came with some bad news. She said that I wouldn't be able to get the puppy that I was supposed to cuddle for all eternity. But she also came with some good news that I would be getting my new best friend, Thor. He is now three, almost four, and I got him on New Year's. Nice. I am not to tolerate. You can basically say that my life stinks. Come on. Cookies, pizza, and almost all of these are kids. Make the kids' life fun. I just can't eat them. About three months ago, I went to the gastro, aka the stomach specialist. She understood the situation that I was in, so she told me to take lactate pills. Now I take lactate pills, and I can eat whatever I want. I'm a new person. Come on. <laughs>
Yeah. What's up? Hope you're enjoying the show. Yes, sir. Uh, the last song we listened to is called Let Me Be Your Star. And I think there's one thing uh, we can all agree upon right now, and that is that every one of these kids that came out on this stage. Come on. everybody for the opportunity uh, to do this. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a dream come true for us. Uh, Mr. Diaz and Ms. Jones, members of the board, um, our school administrators, uh, Mr. Salvatore, Ms. Wazanski, and Ms. Jones, um, all the uh, people who helped, our great, um, our fabulous advisors to the drama program, a group of really talented people, uh, Mr. McGuckin, Mr. Dooley, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Cortina, and Ms. Stein, great people. Okay. Our interns who are back there with who are back there with your kids now, who gave up two weeks of their summer to work here. Nice. Free. Nice. Free. Nice. Uh, mentors, mentors and role models for your children. So we want to thank you all. We want to thank you, parents, for these fantastic kids. It's been our privilege uh, to work with them in musical theater. Theater, musical theater is so powerful. Mm. Um, the theme of the program is new beginnings. And this is not only a new beginning for us doing a summer program, but it's a new beginning for a lot of these kids. Hey, sir. Kids who find, uh, kids who, who don't think they have a voice and all of a sudden they find one. Mm. They don't think they have a talent or a skill. Yeah. And then they find that they do. Yes, sir. That they don't think that they have a place anywhere in the world. And then they find that they do have a place. It's so powerful to watch that happen to, to these wonderful kids. Um, we'd like it, when you leave here today, we'd really like you to, uh, we have some surveys outside some parent surveys to fill out. Uh, we'd love to run this program again next year. Yes, so, yes, um, yes, 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 yes. So, if you, if you really love the program, um, please fill one out for us. If you really, really love it, fill two out for us. <laughs> uh, and the last song we're going to play, coincidentally, is about finding yourself. It's from uh, the musical Year of Enhancement, and it's called uh, You Will Be Found. Uh, and we will be found back here at 1 o'clock for another show. <laughs> and at 6 o'clock, we're performing a shorter version of the show at the 4th of July festivities uh, at the Marina. So we hope to see you then. Once again, thank you so much. Kevin. Thank you. Thank you.
¿Cómo? Come on, man. Come on.